Why would you do that? Let's take it, let's draw out another law. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 10. You shall not plow an ox and an ass together. You shall not wear a garment of diverse source, source as wool and linen together. Now, why? You know, now, a lot of people will look at this, especially the Pharisee, and they will look at this and they'll say, well, man, I got to be concerned about what kind of garment I wear. And I got to be concerned about plowing with an ox and an ass. Listen, that's not the meaning behind the law. <clears throat> no farmer would ever think of plowing with an ox and an ass. The two do not hitch up. One is huge, one is small. Okay, so it's not about that. You know, it's not a literal meaning behind the law. You always want to ask, what's the meaning behind the law? The meaning behind this law is that some things just don't mix. That's the meaning. So as you go through your life, you realize, you know, there's some things that just don't mix. Maybe this business partner that I'm thinking about hooking up with, maybe we don't mix. Maybe we really don't get along very well. Maybe it's going to be terrible to invest my money into this business because we don't mix. You know, there are some things that just don't mix. You know, there are some marriages that don't mix. You know, because she's a she's an ox and he's an ass. You know, and they just don't mix. And it's, it's not going to work. You know, I have seen women. I have seen men. Not just picking on the women, but but you know that if you lined up forty men, and you had thirty nine good men, good hearted men, the woman will pick the ass every time. Every single t and men will do the same. They'll pick the ox of the woman. You got 39 good women there you could choose from, but you pick the ox. You know, it happens all the time. I mean, I'm not sure what causes this, but, you know, here is a biblical principle that there are some things that just don't mix. And you want to think about, is the mixture right in whatever I'm doing? Okay, now, old covenant, new covenant, should we apply this today? Should we think about this today? Yes, you ought to think about this today. Again, I come back to this statement. If the professing Christian church, if they had over the centuries placed the proper emphasis on the law of God, as they have done grace, if they would have placed the proper emphasis on the law of God instead of the misleading teaching that the New Covenant Christians are no longer obligated to observe the law of God, would we be a better nation today? And I think the answer to that question is yes. We would be a much better people if there was more emphasis on the law of God and why we should keep it, okay? And quit making the distinction between, oh, that's old covenant and that's new covenant. Listen, I like it. You know, all that is is a rabbit trail that people like to race down, you know, and, and just, just to get you confused. It really, that's the bottom point. Now, check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.